Google Pixel 6a, this is great. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. The Google Pixel 6a is expected to hit shelves in a few months and several specifications for the device have now been released by its shadow leak, some of which have already previously been leaked. The Pixel 6a will be equipped with three Sony cameras, the IMX355, IMX363, and IMX386, and in a nutshell, the device will mix cameras from the Pixel 5 and Pixel 6 series, with Google refusing to give up the IMX363 sensor. Furthermore, that shadow leak claims that the 6A will come with either 6GB or 8GB of RAM. Unlike its competition, Google usually only offers one RAM configuration for its Pixel smartphones, so as a result, it appears unlikely that Google will change its strategy with the Pixel 6a. Moreover as per the reports, Google is planning to use a 60Hz panel in the 6a, similar to the previous Pixel series smartphones. So just like the Pixel 4 a 5G, the Pixel 6a will have a 6.2-inch display and because of its lower bezels and somewhat taller aspect ratio, the former will be smaller than the latter. Furthermore, the device will feature a 4800mAh battery that supports 30 watts charging, which is larger than the Pixel 5a and Pixel 6. Finally, the device is expected to be released in the month of May, possibly in conjunction with the Pixel Watch. Apart from that, 9to5 Google revealed earlier this month that Google's forthcoming foldable phone could be called the Pixel Notepad and could cost less than the Galaxy Fold. The Pixel Notepad is now expected to cost roughly $1,400, according to reports. Two separate individuals familiar with Google's current planning provided this target price, which is subject to alter in the run-up to the announcement. If that price holds true, perhaps $1,399 in the United States, the Pixel 6 Pro and Pixel Notepad will be $500 apart. In comparison, the difference between the $1,199 Galaxy S21 Ultra and the $1,799.99 E Fold 3 is $100 more aside from the discounts. Besides, a lag between the US and overseas debuts can also be expected and according to the latest information, Google's first foldable will be accessible globally by the end of 2022. This Pixel foldable will resemble Oppo's Find N rather than Samsung's Galaxy Fold and in that it will be short and wide instead of tall and narrow. Moreover it will be driven by a Google Tensor chip, although it will not have the 50 megapixel Samsung GN1 sensor found on the Pixel 6. Rather the primary 12.2 megapixel Sony IMX363 sensor from the Pixel 3 and 5a will be used, as it is slimmer than the Pixel 6's sensor and an ultra-wide 12 megapixel IMX386 sensor will be added to the mix as well. That's going to be all that I am going to share with you guys for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, the tech chat is over and I am out.